Welcome to Art with Miss P. Today's lesson is going to be a ladybug. It is going to be based on the book by Eric Carl, The Grouchy Ladybug. I uploaded a link to the read aloud for this book. I also uploaded a link to some fun facts about ladybugs. So I hope you all had a chance to listen to the story by Eric Carl, The Grouchy Ladybug, and watch the video on the fun facts about ladybugs before joining in on this art project. So if you're ready, here's what you need. You need your white paper, your eraser, your Sharpie, and a pencil. If you don't have a Sharpie, don't worry about it. You can use a black marker, a black crayon, or a black color pencil, or even a black oil pastel if you want to. So get your stuff and let's get ready to draw our ladybug. You're gonna draw a really big ladybug. As you can see from this example, it is gonna take up most of the paper. We're gonna have a horizon line back here so we know where the ground and the sky meet. Now, last year in kindergarten, you guys did a ladybug drawing very similar to this. It was a basic round ladybug sitting on a green leaf. And then you all painted it. So if you remember this project from last year, this project this year is still gonna be a big ladybug, but it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna make our ladybug look a little bit more rounded. We're gonna add in some shading. So I'd like for you to use either color pencils or crayons for this marker, so we can, uh, for this project, I'm sorry, so we can get this shading in. All right, so let's get your white piece of paper. Turn your paper horizontal like this. Normally, I will ask you to put your horizon line right here in the middle of the paper. Today, I want you to put your horizon line up here in the top half of your paper, right where my finger is. So have your, get your pencil and draw a horizontal line going across your paper like this. This is gonna be your sky, and all this down here is gonna be your ground. It's gonna be your green grass. And we're gonna draw a ladybug right here. Ladybugs are round. So we wanna draw a really big round circle right there in the middle of our paper, or in the middle, like below our horizon line. Don't let it go above the horizon line. And this is, um, doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but you want it to be as close to a circle as you can get. And then we're gonna draw another circle right here, and that is going to be the head. Now, if you want your ladybug to face this direction, then your head would be over here. So you decide which way you want your ladybug to go. All right, on our ladybug, we're gonna have a line that comes back here. Last year in kindergarten, we drew this line straight. This year, I want you to draw this line curved like this. Now, I'm gonna give you two choices. You can choose to draw your line all the way over to the end like this, and the ladybug's wings would be completely shut. Or you can stop it right here and then curve those lines out like this so it looks like your ladybug wings are just starting to open, like getting ready to fly. I'll let you choose. So again, like this right here, or like this going all the way across. Your choice. All right, so these are our two wings, these are our heads. All right, for the eyes, you can choose to draw round eyes like this if you want to, or you can choose to put eyes on the side like this. Again, your choice. Now we need two antennas. So you can draw your antennas. I'm gonna draw mine right here, and I'm gonna have mine kind of curl into a spiral. So I'm gonna have this antenna come off and have it come around and go into a spiral. Now I'm gonna turn over for a second and um, you can draw your antennas like I just showed you or you can draw them like this with a circle on the end or you can draw them where they're just straight like that. Whatever, you decide how you want your antennas to be. I decided to do mine like little spirals your choice. All right, now we're gonna put our spots on our ladybug, and they are circles, and they can be big circles, small circles, circles that run off the ladybug so we don't see all of it. And if you watched the video on the ladybug, 
you know that the number of circles all depends on what kind of ladybug it is. So get your circles on. And now we need to draw six legs, three on each side. So I'm gonna turn my paper to make it a little bit easier for me. So we're gonna have one leg that comes off like this and we're gonna draw two legs and kind of have it come to a point. I'm gonna draw another one right here. So one leg, this leg I'm gonna have run off the page. And the back leg over here, I'm gonna have that run off the page. If yours doesn't run off the page, that is okay. So up here, and then we have another, another one right here, and another one back here. All right, so there is the six legs, three on each side, our ladybug's head. We have the two wings, we have the spots. So we are now ready to Sharpie. So if you remember, if you're using Sharpie, get that blotter paper to put underneath your paper so you do not get Sharpie on your table because Sharpie is permanent and it will bleed through. So you are going to um, Sharpie all your pencil lines. Now, I'm not gonna Sharpie this whole piece, but I am gonna show you a couple of things. Normally, I always tell you in the classroom, Sharpies are used for drawing and writing, but once in a while, you can use a Sharpie for coloring and today's lesson is one of those. You will color the spots on your ladybug black, and you can use your Sharpie, if you want to, to color in those spots like I am. Now, if you're not using a Sharpie, then you will use whatever you have, uh, your crayon, your, your um, marker, or what have you. If you chose to split your wings like this, this area right here will also be black. So you will color this entire area right here black. This whole area right here will be black. Your spots will be black. Now on the example right here, I did my spots black. I did my antennas black, but I used a gray color pencil for the legs, and I used a brown for the head, just so I wouldn't have so much black. So you only, you can, you don't even have to do your antennas black. You can do your antennas whatever color. So spots are black. This part is black if you did the two wings split open. And for eyes, this part of the eye would be black. The rest of it would be sharpied. And you gotta make sure your other eye is facing the same direction. Um, and then that's the only thing you would color black on the eye. Otherwise, you're gonna leave it white. So, Sharpie everything, color your spots black, color this black if you did it. If you want to color your antennas black like this, you can, or you can leave them for whatever color. And then after you finish your Sharpie, remember, erase any pencil lines that your Sharpie did not cover. So, let's move to the end of the project right here and talk about color. If you watched the video on the fun facts of ladybugs, you learned that ladybugs come in different colors. The most popular color is red, and then you have orange, yellow, pink, black, gray, and brown. Let's not choose black, gray, or brown for our ladybug. It just doesn't give it a lot of color. So choose either red, orange, yellow, or pink for your ladybug. And when you're coloring, whether it's with uh, your color pencils or your crayon, you're gonna color one, one color lightly first, and then I want you to come back along the edges right here and color a little bit darker. If you look at my edges, you can see where I colored a little bit darker and I colored a little bit darker right there along that line. So it makes it look like your ladybug is more rounded. We're adding in a little bit of shading. Now, you don't want it to be too much of a contrast. So you wanna make sure you, you color light and then come back in and just do a little bit darker right along here, not too dark too quick. And if you think it needs to be darker, then you'll just come back and add a little bit more. You're building up layers of color. You can do this with crayon and color pencils. So start light and then gradually work darker. Here, I colored my ladybug's head brown, and then I added a little bit of a darker shade of brown right there and right around the edges right there. 
just to make it look a little bit more rounded. And then of course I did green and yellow green in the background and I did a combination of sky blue and light blue back here. And of course you can put some trees back here if you want to. You can put whatever you want to put in the background. You can put a sun, you can put clouds. It's your choice. So that is your ladybug project for this week. I look forward to seeing what color you choose for your ladybug and seeing your awesome ladybug drawings. So until next time friends, peace, love, and, uh, peace, love, and sparkles from Miss P.